what we're going to do is I'm going to do like a fill in the blank. So I'm going to use the word overwhelm. But if you're feeling something different, or if it's overwhelmed, but also more angry, scared, confused, something else, some other feeling, I want you to use those words too, okay? Or instead of. There's no, there's no wrong here. As long as we're using words that come from our heart, and these are words that we're, these are emotions that we're feeling, this is um, going to be helpful. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the side of the hand again, take a cleansing breath. And you're going to repeat after me. And if I say something that doesn't resonate with you, say something different. Say whatever it is that does resonate with you. Okay. Even though I'm feeling so overwhelmed with all of this corona crap in the world, that's just how I feel right now. And even though I'm feeling so overwhelmed, overwhelmed with information, overwhelmed with things to do, and overwhelmed with emotions. Emotions like, fill in whatever you're feeling. That's just how I feel right now. And I accept myself. And even though I'm really still very overwhelmed, that's just how I'm feeling right now. And I accept myself. So we're going to tap through the points now. And I'm going to use the word overwhelmed, but if you have a different word, I want you to use that. Or if you have a few different words, I want you to use them. Okay? I'm overwhelmed. Inside the eyebrow. Overwhelmed. Side of the eye. I'm overwhelmed. Under the eye. Too much going on. Under the nose. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. I'm overwhelmed. Collarbone. So overwhelmed. Under the arms. I'm overwhelmed. The receiving. I'm so overwhelmed right now. And then put your hands back on your heart, take another breath. And we'll tune back into how you're feeling. All right, so now we're going to focus on the powerlessness and that out of control feeling and that anger anger for this um for the situation that we're we're in right now okay so back to the side of the hand even though i feel powerless with this whole corona situation that's just how i feel right now and i accept myself And even though this situation makes me feel out of control, that's just how I feel. I accept myself. And even though I'm really angry about this, that's just how I feel. And I accept myself. Top of the head. Powerless. Inside the eyebrow. 
This corona situation makes me feel powerless. Kind of, yeah. I feel powerless. Under the eye. Out of control. Under the nose. This coronavirus makes me feel out of control. And I feel out of control. Collarbone. And I'm angry. I am so angry at this situation. This whole situation makes me so angry. Take a breath. Out of the hand. Even though I'm really angry, when I think about this entire pandemic, it really ticks me off. That's just how I feel. And I accept myself. And even though I'm really angry, like really angry, when I think about this pandemic and everything it's doing, that's just how I feel. And I'm okay with that. Even though I am so angry right now. When I think about how this situation is affecting my entire life. I'm angry. And that's okay. And I accept myself anyway. Top of the head. I'm so angry. Inside the eyebrow. So angry about this coronavirus. Side of the eye. I'm angry about how it's affecting my life. Under the eye. I'm angry at how it's affecting the world. Under the nose. And don't even get me started on the politics. Angry. Then absolutely furious. Collarbone. I'm angry. Under the arm. I'm more than angry. Inside the ribs. And that's okay. I accept myself being angry. All right, take another breath. Okay, so now we're going to focus on isolation, sadness, mm -hmm. um, that feeling like something is missing, that feeling of loss, feeling of grief. And like I just said, you're gonna focus on it in any way that is relevant for you. And, um, and we'll just go from there, okay? So side of the hand, Even though I'm feeling isolated and sad. That's just how I'm feeling right now. And I accept myself. And even though I feel like something's missing, there's this loss. Loss of normal life. And it makes me feel sad. 
that's just how I'm feeling right now. And I accept myself. Even though I'm feeling grief for the loss of my normal life. And I'm feeling isolated and sad. That's just how I'm feeling right now. And I accept myself. Top of the head. Isolated. Inside the eyebrow. Sadness. Sadness. Something's missing. Under the eye. This loss of normal life. Under the nose. Isolation. Chin. And sadness. Something's missing under the arm. Loss of normal life inside the ribs. Just sadness. And heart. All right, so we're going to just tap and we're going to vent and we're going to just say whatever comes to mind. All right, so on the side of the hand, even though I feel right now when I think about this pandemic, and you can swear all you want. I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I feel, when I think about this bleeping pandemic, I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I am feeling whenever I think about what's happening in the world, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now we're going to tap on the top of the head and just say whatever comes to mind. There are no wrong answers here. Just blurt out whatever you're feeling. inside the eyebrow, keep it coming. Just let it all out. Side of the eye. Under the eye. I'm really feeling Under the nose. This whole thing makes me so chin. Just keep venting whatever's coming to mind. Collarbone. Under the arm. Inside the wrist. Now I want you to put your hands on your heart. Take a breath. And check back in with how you're feeling. 
So what I want you to do, this is for if you're tapping in public. <laughs> Sorry, we're not going in public, I forgot. This is for if you're tapping, you know, if you've got people around you or if you just don't want to touch your face, all right? So what you're gonna do is have your palm facing you and I want you to tap on the top corner of your thumb where your thumb meets your fingernail, all right? And then we're gonna do the same thing on all of the fingers. Yeah. Hey, dummy. <laughs> the side of the hand and then the inside of the room. And this is going to, you can just do this in a circle. Okay. And this can be a nice, soothing way for you to tap without touching your face, without being obvious that you're, you're tapping. You'd be sitting on the couch and kind of doing this without people in the same room as you really even noticing what you're doing. Okay. So that's another way that you can use this. I want to thank you for watching this video. Um, I apologize if it was a little bit choppy. What I did was we had a great big group call with uh, it was 30 people and we were all on the call. And uh, rather than having everybody on the screen, every time we did tapping, I simply um, muted everyone and changed the video. So it was just on me. And then after the tapping, I'd go back to the group and we'd figure out what else we needed to tap on. So this was actually a very natural evolution process of the tapping that we did. And, um, you know, we started off with feeling angry and then into sad and then really just allowing ourselves to vent and, and tap on whatever it is that's bothering us specifically. I hope you found this to be helpful. And if you have any questions or if you'd like to learn more, my website is Female Empowerment EFT. And my name is Lori Lamont. And you can always email me as well at femaleempowermentefc at gmail.com. I want to thank you for being here with me and keep on tapping.